You know, there are people out there that think if you want to get a golf access single family home on a saltwater canal here in Southwest Florida, that you need to spend a million dollars or more. And in this video, I'm going to show you that not only is that not the case, but I'm going to give you three examples in three different Southwest Florida cities where you can get a golf access single family move in ready home for under $500,000 and in some cases under $400,000. So be sure to stick around to the end for that. If you don't know me by now, my name is Dustin Guthrie. I'm a longtime resident and realtor here in Southwest Florida with Schooner Bay Realty. I put out multiple videos like this every single week. So if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe by clicking that little DG icon in the lower right hand corner of your screen. If you're looking for something in Southwest Florida or you have a property to sell here, uh, my contact info is down in the description and I really would appreciate it if you'd give me a call. I promise you that there's nobody that's gonna work harder for you. I know. The other day I was in a 150 degree attic for a client making a repair just so we would close on time. So I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get your goals accomplished and get the job done for you. So give me a call on that. Uh, with that being said, let's uh, get started with these entry level golf access homes in these three cities. So I'm gonna start off in Cape Coral and then we're gonna go up north to Punta Gorda and then finally up a little further north to Port Charlotte. And in each one of these cities, I'm gonna show you what the least expensive move-in ready golf access home looks like and then we'll do some pros and cons on each of the area at the end. Sound good? All right, let's start off in Cape Coral. Cape Coral certainly has the most golf access waterfront homes for sale in Southwest Florida, and it probably has more saltwater canal homes than any other city in the state of Florida. The majority of the city's 450 miles of canals empty out into the Gulf of Mexico, so you're going to find the largest variety of golf access homes for sale in Cape Coral. This home is a perfect example of an entry-level golf access home in Cape Coral. It's a three-bedroom, two-bath home built in 2005 with a two-car garage and just over 1,400 square feet of living area. The home has upgraded wood-style ceramic tile flooring in the living room and kitchen, while the bedrooms and front family room have carpet and the bathrooms have more traditional ceramic tile floors. Overall, the interior is slightly dated, but the home is certainly move-in ready at this under 500k entry level price. The home has a large screen lanai, and it also sits on a typical Cape Coral quarter acre lot, which means there's plenty of room to add a big pool and a pool deck. The seawall looks to be in good shape, and it still has the original concrete cantilever dock, which are very sturdy docks, but for those looking to keep a boat behind the house on a more permanent basis, an additional boat lift would be strongly recommended to keep the boat out of the water when not in use. So this is what just under $500,000 buys you in Cape Coral these days. This is a golf access house. It's a little bit further out from open water, probably 30 or so minutes at idle speed to get out to open water. But the other side of that is it's far enough inland that you're not gonna have to pay flood insurance. It's out of the floodplain right here, which is a really big deal right now because flood insurance rates are quite, quite high for, for some of these older homes. At 499.9, this home in the southeast section of Cape Coral needs no work to move in, and it has the added benefit of not being in a flood zone. That said, for boaters, it's gonna take more time traveling through the canals to get out to open water. Leaving Cape Coral, we're going to head about 15 to 20 miles north and arrive at our next house, which is located in the western part of Punta Gorda, Florida. Our second golf access home is also a three-bedroom, two-bath, move-in ready home. It's slightly larger at just over 1,700 square feet of living area under air, and it also has a two-car garage. This home was built in 1989, so it's about 14 years older than the Cape Coral house, but it's also about $50,000 cheaper. There are a few decent upgrades in the house, like granite countertops in the kitchen and 16-inch ceramic tile in parts of the house. It could probably use a few cosmetic things, like some new carpet in the rooms that have carpet and a new coat of interior paint throughout the house, but overall, it's not in bad condition. This guest bathroom has access out to the lanai, which would be great if a pool was added on in the future. The master suite is good size, and it also provides access out to the screen lanai. The master bath features dual vanities and both a walk-in shower and a separate garden tub.
you can see that the lanai has had this little extension added onto it at some point, and I'm not really sure what's going on with it. It seems a little off to me. Those kinds of things are why you always get a professional home inspection. This deck, on the other hand, is a nice addition overlooking the canal in the back. There seems to be enough room to put a pool here, albeit a smaller one. The canal in this home is smaller than the one we saw in Cape Coral, and it's farther away from open water. Probably a solid 40 minute trip through the canals, or maybe even more. This home is also located in a flood zone, and because it was built in the 1980s, the home is not built up high enough to avoid the need for flood insurance if you're getting a mortgage. So at the end of the day, this is not a bad little house. It's certainly livable the way it is. The only downside would be the access that you have in the back. It's a smaller canal. It takes you longer to get out to open water. There's no boat lift. So certainly those are the downsides, but really a true Gulf access house for under 500 is tough to beat these days. At just under $450,000, this home is bigger and cheaper than the last one we looked at, but the downside of that is a longer trip out to open water and the fact that it's located in a flood zone and would require expensive flood insurance in order to obtain a mortgage on it. Alright, to finish things up, we're going to head across Charlotte Harbor into Port Charlotte and see our final home for the day. This move-in ready golf access home with a pool in Port Charlotte was recently taken off the market, so I've given it an approximate market value of $420,000 based on what similar homes in the neighborhood are selling for. This three bedroom, two bath home was originally built in 1959, but has had some additions added to it over the years. It now has a total of just under 1,900 square feet of living area under air, as well as an attached one car garage. Despite its age, you can see that the interior of this home has been impeccably updated with things like quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances, wood plank LVT flooring, and more. You can see that the layout of this home is a little funky due to the additions that have been put onto the original home over the years, but overall the interior of this house is very nice. There is an expansive open pool area in the back which includes this built-in covered area where you can get out of the sun when you need to. The lot is also pretty deep so there's still plenty of yard space between the pool deck and the seawall. The canal behind the home is nice and wide and it's a very short trip out to open water from here, probably only about 10 minutes. That's by far the fastest golf access of the three homes we've seen today. That said, Hurricane Ian last year completely compromised this seawall and damaged the wooden dock. From what I can tell, it looks like at least part of the boat lift can be salvaged and perhaps the dock could be repaired, but it definitely needs a new seawall. So a lot of great things going for this house. There's certainly some upgrades on the inside, but again, it's an older property. You're gonna have a time with flood insurance and you're gonna have to deal with the stuff in the seawall in the back. So definitely some things to do here. So the main downfalls of this place are the age of the home and the need to replace the seawall. But overall, this house has a lot going for it. The interior is fully upgraded. The canal location is very close to open water. The price is very low at $420,000, plus it has a pool. Golf access homes just like this one, but without pools in Port Charlotte, are available right now in the mid to high 300,000s. So Port Charlotte definitely has the lowest entry level price point for golf access homes in Southwest Florida. So now that you've seen these three examples of what entry level golf access homes look like in each one of these three cities in Southwest Florida, let me break down what I feel are the biggest pros and cons of each one of these cities. And these are the things that you'll need to keep in mind if you're down here looking for a property like this in Southwest Florida. Cape Coral is definitely going to give you the biggest selection of golf access properties. There are literally hundreds of miles of saltwater canals in Cape Coral, so there are always going to be more waterfront homes for sale in Cape Coral versus places like Punta Gorda or Port Charlotte. Another great thing about Cape Coral is the fact that, believe it or not, some golf access properties are actually outside of a flood zone, meaning you're not required to have flood insurance. That's a really big deal right now because flood insurance rates have gone up significantly in the last couple of years. I'll actually be doing a video just on insurance coming up, so make sure you're subscribed to this channel. The one thing that you should be aware of when you're looking at golf access homes for sale in Cape Coral is how far away from open water they are. Some of the canal systems move pretty far inland, and so there are properties that 
While they're technically golf access, it takes two hours or more of idling through the canals before you can get out to open water, so be aware of that. Price-wise, Punta Gorda's golf access homes are generally a little bit less expensive than Cape Coral and a little more expensive than Port Charlotte, so it holds the middle ground on price. Most of the homes are fairly close to open water and so it's a quick trip out, but there are quite a bit fewer waterfront homes in Punta Gorda, so you're normally not going to find a big selection of homes to choose from. With some move-in ready golf access homes starting as low as the mid 300,000s, Port Charlotte is by far the least expensive area for golf access homes in southwest Florida, and likely one of the most affordable areas of golf access properties in the entire state of Florida. The main trouble is the fact that the majority of the properties in that price range were built in the 1950s and 60s, and that often presents insurance challenges. Because those older properties are not built up to the latest hurricane standards and elevations, insurance can be expensive, so unless you're buying the home with cash, the savings that you would get in price can quickly be countered by your mortgage's requirement to have expensive minimum insurance coverage. So this low price can come with a catch-22, so be mindful of that when you're weighing your options. So what do you think about these three properties in these three different cities? I'd love to hear what your opinions are down in the comments. Hey, if you got anything out of this video, would you please hit that like button? And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. As I mentioned, I do multiple videos every single week, and I would love for you to be around for the ones in the future. If you need my help for anything real estate related or not, my contact info is down there. I hope you'll reach out to me. Beyond that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one real soon.